Hi everyone, I'm Sean Donahoe, and today we're making skinny crispy chicken with a lemon Dijon butter lettuce salad and roasted fingerling potatoes. This dish is so delicious, it's impossibly decadent, and it's very low calorie. So we'll start with four large chicken breasts, and we'll lay out some saran wrap and we'll pound them thin so that way the chicken cooks evenly and it'll actually decrease your cooking time as well. I started making this recipe when I got a Martha Stewart box delivered. Um, it was a really tasty uh, dish, but it was a little oily and it took me over an hour and 15 minutes. So I really wanted to simplify it and make a skinnier, healthier version I could eat more often. So we cut our chicken into half pieces, so now we're working with eight. Um, we sprinkled it with a little bit of garlic salt and cracked pepper. And to prepare your dry ingredients, I made a bed of panko, I sprinkled on about four tablespoons of flour, and then I seasoned the mixture with salt and pepper. Then I whisked three eggs, and we're ready to get started. So take one of your chicken breast halves, you're gonna lay it in the egg mixture, get it covered, and then dredge it in that beautiful crispy panko. This is what it's gonna give us, that nice fried tasting crunch without it being fried. And I like to use uh, parchment paper here so that way the chicken doesn't stick. Because we're not using a lot of fat and oil, the chicken has a tendency to stick in the pan. You know, I love fried chicken. It is one of my all-time favorite foods. But, you know, I've had four kids. My metabolism isn't exactly what it used to be. I mean, nor really was it in my early 20s could I eat fried chicken every day. Um, but this is such a great alternative to fried chicken. It's rich, it's crispy, it's craveable. Oh, I just love it. And I don't feel guilty about it either because I'm getting so much protein and healthy goodness. It's great. My kids love it. They think they're having a fun treat food. You wanna keep this recipe super skinny, you can. Just have the crispy chicken, you can dip it in like hot sauce or whatever your favorite sauce is. But I like to take a little bit of a calorie splurge here and I make a beautiful lemon garlic aioli. It is to die for. And since the chicken's baked, not fried, why not go for a little aioli? The final step in giving this oven-baked chicken that golden brown crispy crunch of fried chicken is adding a bit of egg wash. So my egg mixture, hello Bruno. So what you do is you have the egg mixture that we use to bread the chicken, and then I just add a touch of milk, and I'm gonna whisk that together. What this does is if you oven fry just a regular panko crispy chicken, it's gonna be sort of white, and just have a few dark spots, it won't have that golden crunchy look and feel to it. So if you add a little bit of egg wash, it'll help that chicken to brown up and just look beautiful. So because I don't wanna mess with that beautiful coating that I have on my chicken, I just lightly pack the top of the chicken with the egg wash. Now for the potatoes. I like to use fingerling potatoes, but really you can use anything you have on hand. Just make sure you cut them small enough and uniform enough that they cook relatively quickly. Ugh, these potatoes are crispy and creamy. Honestly, they're better than french fries. I never thought I would say that because I love french fries. I know I'm not supposed to, but I do. But these potatoes are so rich and buttery and beautiful. Oh, you're gonna love them. To add that sort of French provincial flavor to this dish, I'm gonna add fresh rosemary for my garden. For the dressing, I use lemons, 
honey, olive oil, white wine vinegar, salt, and pepper. Uh, this is one of my favorite recipes because it's bright and refreshing. A traditional dressing is two-thirds oil to one-third acid, and I think it's a little heavy and completely unnecessary. In this recipe, we do two-thirds acid, one-third olive oil, and it's just as delicious, if not better. For the zest of a lemon, you just need a microplane and just gently graze over the lemon and try not to get the white just that beautiful bright yellow. This smells so good. So I like to take off the ends of my lemon so when it goes into my juicer, it sits in there a little bit better and it can really squeeze out every last bit. I'm using lemons from my mother-in-law's tree. They're so beautiful and so juicy. So for me, I'm probably only gonna need about a lemon and a half, but if you use store-bought lemons, you're probably gonna need two. So in our jar now, we have the zest of two lemons and about a half a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. I'm now gonna add to that a little bit of white wine vinegar, about a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of good Dijon mustard, and about a quarter a cup of olive oil. I'll season it with a little bit of salt fresh cracked pepper. After I add all those beautiful ingredients, I screw the lid on tight to my mason jar and give it a really good shake. Now, because we added the Dijon mustard, it's gonna act like an emulsifier. And what that means is it's gonna bind all those beautiful ingredients together and sort of give it that nice, creamy texture. This is gonna be the garlic and lemon aioli. It is so unbelievably delicious. It's my husband's very favorite part of this dish, but it's not super skinny, so let's put this in the optional category. Um, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need mayonnaise. Um, I like to make enough so there's leftovers, so I'm gonna use four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Now, of course, you're not gonna eat four tablespoons of mayonnaise. This is like a family share portion. So this is half of that lemon that I used earlier for the salad dressing. We're gonna need some more zest because that gives it a lot of um, flavor and perfume with not thinning the sauce out too much so it can remain creamy. Next you add um, one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of honey. Not too much, you don't want it to be sweet, but you just want enough to where it sort of cuts that acidic bite from the lemon juice. We're gonna add in pressed garlic. This gives it a spicy bite that is so delicious. Next, I add a little bit of cracked pepper, pink sea salt to taste, and then we'll whisk it all together. The chicken and potatoes cooked in the oven at 400 for 25 minutes. We pulled them out. They're this luscious golden brown, nice and crispy. I garnished everything with some beautiful fresh chopped chives. We dressed our salad with that gorgeous lemony Dijon dressing, and now we're ready to enjoy. I hope you make this recipe at home for your family. It's absolutely delicious. And if you liked the video today, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you for joining us.